my name is Sabo, and I'm from the Crossing Big Toys crew. I started graffiti in 2011. My friend at the time was a tiger and he let me have a try and I fell in love. I got the name Sabo from my friend, he used to call me Sabo and I thought it was funny so that is what I write up until today. Done a lot in my career, I have traveled around the world, I have painted in many countries and up until recently uh, graffiti for me was getting kind of boring and uh, I wanted to do something new, something fresh. In 2021, I watched a documentary about graffiti beef and I was very interested and I thought it might be the thing to make graffiti fun for me again, so every night I would go out and try to go over as many people as possible. Then a couple months ago, I decided to start a TikTok account where I would go out and film myself going over people and posting it online, and it got a lot of traction, got a lot of attention, uh, even 40,000 views, so I just kept doing it, I, I could not stop, I loved the attention. However, a lot of people were messaging me, they were telling me, do not go over this person again. Uh, I did not know that he was a very respected uh, tagger in my city, and I listened to them, I stopped. Um, I even messaged the guy, and I said, I am sorry, I apologized, and... Uh, we've squashed the beef, and basically, that is just the moral of the story. Uh, just have fun, graffiti is all about fun, graffiti is not about beef or who's better, it's just about painting with your friends and having a fun time. I think for me, graffiti is just about fun. Like I said before, it is not about who is better, and, and I unfortunately learned that the hard way. So I think it is all about fun, just having a good time. In 2020, my wife got in a car accident and it was the worst day of my life. I did not know what to do with myself, I was really angry, I was very mad. So I just got my cans and every night I would go out painting just to take my mind off of it. Later the same year, I fell into a deep depression. I would not get out of bed and I had no motivation to do anything. Then at the end of 2020, I decided to move to Australia to start a new life. I painted for about two or three months in Australia and I got caught by the police one night, I ran away from them as, as fast as I could, but they caught up to me and they handcuffed me and I was taken in for questioning. I got 300 hours of community service and it was horrible, um, but I did it and uh, as you can tell I am still painting, I don't give a fuck.
first beef I ever started was in 2013, around about then, and it was with a guy named Slow, S-L-O-W. And of course, throughout the years, up until 2022, I was still beefing with writers, I was still crossing people, but not very many notable writers at all. And then, on the 22nd of June, 2022, I made the biggest mistake that I have made in graffiti. So I was out one night and I crossed some guy named Mac Rose from the SMZ crew. And I posted it on the internet, I thought this would be kinda of funny. And then, all of a sudden I woke up to get 37,000 views and I was amazed. Um, but the people were not very happy for my actions, they were not. They were not encouraging it, they all told me to stop, they called me a toy, and uh, I was not very happy. So I came back to the spot, and I had seen he put some stickers over my tag. Uh, it said Sebo was a pussy, and uh, I thought it was kind of comical, I, I laughed a little, but on the inside I was kind of mad, so I posted again and I got another 40,000 views. I did not know that this guy was a very respected writer in this city, and in general, um, a lot of people seemed to respect him, and they told me to stop doing it, and I didn't want to be a dickhead, I didn't want to be an asshole, so I did stop, and I even messaged the guy, and I told him I was sorry, and he accepted my apology, and uh, we're cool now. A valuable lesson that I have learned is just because you have been doing something longer than somebody else does not mean that you are automatically better than them. Just like uh, me and Macro, I, I thought just because I had been doing it for longer, I had been doing graffiti for longer, meant that I was better than him and a lot of people seem to disagree. And that is just a valuable lesson that I have learned and uh, it's a knowledge I'd like to pass on. I am known for doing graffiti beef and starting graffiti beef, but I do not recommend it to new writers or even experienced writers, I don't think it is the right thing to do. It is all about mutual respect, and uh, I think it's just about having fun. Like I said at the start of the video, it's just about having fun. I will continue to post beefs and crossing videos on my TikTok account, which is Sabo underscore tags with a Z. Uh, because it is fun and uh, a lot of you seem to really enjoy it. Um, but I will not be crossing uh, well-respected writers, and if I do, I apologize in advance. And to the people who want to hate on me and call me a toy, uh, I think it is funny, I do not care at all because I am having fun doing what I love to do, smiling and they are behind the phone and just hating, so at the end of the day I think I am winning, in this situation at least, and I think you should go and uh, speak to some females.